see if I can find two of the same color. Here they are. So you're going to get more of a scoop style spatula and then a wide spatula. Now, one of the things that we love most about these is that they're so durable and so rigid because here's one that's clear to show you what's inside. You know what the core is inside these spatulas? Steel. And what is that steel surrounded by? Silicone. So these can go into your super hot pans, super hot sheet pans, and then go into your dishwasher for quick and easy cleanup. We're awfully excited to have these back. And $19.57, you get the set of two. Super strong and durable. Put that back in the lasagna. I'll get there in a moment. Let's remind you three easy payments. I do want to remind you we have some great color choices for you as well. So we'll begin here with the purple. Most limited is the purple. Then I've got it for you in teal. Some might call that Carolina blue. I know I would. Then next to that, I've got it in green. Then the graphite. And finally, the red. Graphite and red are your most popular options. Everybody is going to be excited about this set because they're so durable, so long lasting, so helpful in the kitchen. Chef Jeremy Parker joins us live via Skype to tell us more about these. And, Chef, it is always good to have you back, buddy. Hey, David, good to see you. And I love these. I've had them for a couple of years. In fact, I have a set here that I got a couple of years ago, and they are like brand new because. Like you said, inside of these are stainless steel. So you get the strength and the benefit of steel, but outside is coated with pure silicone. So like I have right here, you can actually leave them in a hot pan and they're not going to melt. They're completely fine. If you've ever had one of these guys, David, you know, if you take this to your barbecue and you see on the tip there, it's just burnt. You get that hard crusted burnt edge because that's, that's plastic. Uh, when, when you're using these, this is the scoop. I love it because you have total control, especially if you're doing these cheeseburgers, you're gonna oh. have, not gonna slide off the side. When you're doing this on your barbecue, again, total control, you're gonna get that great cheeseburger and uh, nothing sticks to it. This goes in the dishwasher to clean. And I'll tell you what, the large one is my favorite because David, when I eat steak, I like a big ribeye. You and me are a lot alike like this. This is almost a pound and a half ribeye steak and I can hold that up with no problem. Because well, it's and got that you got a pound core. and a half ribeye. I probably got a pound yeah. and a half lasagna square here. Oh my word! Look at this. So oh, wow. <laughs> same idea. You got that yeah. great big helping of lasagna. I'll show you that from the side, just so you can see how thick that is. Unbelievable. And I can go in here, use this to cut, and go after another square in this baking dish. Let's see if I can do that. There we are. Look at that. Oh, how you doing? Lasagna, anyone? That'd be lasagna for two people. I could tear that up myself. Right now, I'm so hungry, I could eat my shoe. Yeah, I was looking at those cheeseburgers like, mm, I could tear those up too. Um, oh, yeah. So, whether it's flapjacks, and I've got pancakes here cooking on the griddle, get those right over here, and we'll make a stack. One of the first things I'm going to do when I can get more easily into restaurants, I'm going to go to a diner and I'm going to eat breakfast till I pop. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. So this is what it's all about. Don't miss out on this opportunity. 600 sets are now gone. But you know what? You don't need to wait for a diner to open. Make your flapjacks at home. You've got now a large enough spatula to be able to turn those flapjacks and not worry about them running all over the place or dribbling down the side of your spatula because these are large, right? They're also strong yeah. on the inside thanks to that stainless steel. And they're more impervious to the heat thanks to that silicone coating on the outside plus they're dishwasher safe. Now, here is your purple. I know that looks black on your screen, but it's an eggplanty purple, okay? How many left in the, uh, the purple? Fewer than 2,000. Uh, most limited. Then I've got teal. From teal, I take you into green. 2,100 in that green. Then graphite, which is very close to black. Think about the color of lead in a number two <clears throat> pencil. That's graphite. And then what was that about red? And red is our most popular option. So many of you are picking these up tonight. You get a set of two for under $20, and now over 900 sets are gone. Chef Jeremy, what do you have on your end, buddy? Well, I did for dinner tonight. One of my wife's favorite dishes is beef stroganoff. And this is my go-to tool for that because when you're doing your sauce and things like this, not only can you scoop it out, is I could take this and serve it right into a bowl. But if there's any leftover sauce, you can see because it has that soft silicone edge, see how it just works like a, like a squeegee there. You can just squeegee all that wonderful sauce, and it really is great. Instead of just using a metal spatula, 
Got a little messy there. <laughs> you can see here, I'm gonna get just about everything out of there and you're gonna save all that sauce and, and you can leave it in the pan. And even things like this in a bowl, just so you can see how this works, if I just move this along, that's tomato sauce. And that's why that silicone is just your best friend when you're working with sauce. If you're making a marinara sauce, a bolognese, uh, you could use that to scrape everything off the side. Now, Jeremy, I wanted to show that same yeah. green spatula on this end, but I want to show it from a different angle. Now, see here it's got sides to it. Maybe if I turn it this way, you can see it a little better. See how it's got sides? Now, when does that become important? Follow me over here to my griddle. Now, I've got cheeseburgers with a David amount of cheese on here, okay? Now, what's happened is they've melted down over the edges. Now, we all know that cheese that has hit this hot surface of the griddle becomes crunchy and delicious. You don't want to sacrifice that cheese or leave it behind, do you? No, you do not. So you want to come under here and scoop this burger, and look what I got. It scooped more than it was a spatula and scooped up every bit of that melted cheese. Now that goes mm -hmm. directly onto my burger bun and I get to enjoy all of what's there. Is there anything left on the, on the grill? No, there's not. Because it's all in here, all scooped inside the spatula with the sides. Now the same would be true if I were taking this, let me wipe it clean, and removing cookies or anything like that. Last night I might have baked some David's cookies, you know, the ones that come to you in the pucks and you put them in the, free, in the, in the oven. I was a little hankering for a chocolate chunk last night. So look at this, I can get right under here and grab my cookies, no problem. These are also able to go into hot surfaces because this is silicone, Jeremy. That's right, yeah, and it's safe to over 500 degrees and inside is metal, so I like to say it's a metal spatula with a silicone coating on the outside, so it's the best of both worlds. Here's that steak, David, that I started earlier. Again, I can hold it with one hand. That's 1.25 pound steak right there, and you have total control. And even if you're doing things like here, I had some quesadillas in there and flip the whole thing. It may be flimsy, so this way you've got total control. Use them on your barbecue. These are some barbecued chicken breasts that I did earlier also. They're safe on your barbecue grill. They're safe to use on your a nonstick cookware, so you're not going to scratch your good cookware. So it's just a wonderful tool. You'll use it when you're frying or baking or grilling and, uh, and for your casseroles and lasagnas like you have there. It's wonderful for that. And if you're doing a ham steak to serve with those delicious pancakes, I also love ham steak too. Buy a big old thick yeah. ham steak at the grocery store mm -hmm. and then grill it. Oh, and have that with your eggs in the morning. Maybe make a big old ham biscuit out of it. I might get myself a big cat head biscuit. Why do they call them cat head biscuits? Because they're as big as a cat's head. Yeah. And then make yourself a great big old ham biscuit out of that ham steak. Or I'll just take two pieces of flapjack and put the ham in the middle. Yeah. Can you all tell I'm hungry? Yeah, uh-huh. So this is K49702, and the set of two here, Jeremy, is under $20, a really remarkable value tonight. I can tell you mm -hmm. that we're very busy on our phone lines now. 2,100 of these are gone, and everybody's wanting to grab a set because I'm going to tell you right now, you have a utility drawer in your kitchen that you have trouble closing, right, because it's got a lot of junk in it. Yep. And there are a lot of tools in there you never use, and you probably have smaller spatulas that you never touch because they're just not big enough for what you need. Why not get them out of there, donate them, and then make room for these. Get them home at this great price tonight. This is a really remarkable buy. Now's the time for you to make your purchase. $19.54, here's your set of two in the purple. $1,700 left. Then I've got teal. Beside the teal is the green. Fewer than 2,000 now in that green. Then graphite. And then finally, the most popular color tonight, which is the red. 3,100 now left in the red. Lots and lots of you are picking these up. You may want to pick up a couple of sets. They really make great gifts. If you do a lot of cooking in the kitchen or you've got a couple of people that are cooking in your kitchen, a set for each of you, get different colors, go crazy, introduce some fun colors into your kitchen. That's what's really remarkable about this set. Jeremy, we've got about a minute 30 left. What do you have left to show us? Well, you know, David, these work so well. I've done cooked just about everything I brought here. <laughs> uh -huh. I went through all this, but I'll tell you what, you could go over, let me just plate this. So if I wanted to rest that steak, now I can pick that up after you rest it. And then again, you can plate it there. You can see how much control I have. Those two ideas, I'm gonna put those next to that steak. And how about these two large chicken uh, uh, breasts that I did on the grill? 
the right tool for the right job. That's your great oversized. Whether you're doing pork chops, whether you're doing hamburgers, you're gonna love this. And of course, the slotted spatula, the one you call that the scoop, that's just great for all your sauces, uh, for your stroganoff like I do, uh, or for your, your casseroles. That's your best friend for that, David. You're gonna love both of these. It's a great and set to have. I did sausage and peppers over some pasta here. Look at how nicely that gives you a whole helping of sausage and peppers over that penne pasta. And that is a lovely meal. Don't miss out on this. We've got tilapia over here browning. We've got cheeseburgers bubbling. A whole hash brown or potato galette happening right here. We'll show you that real quick before we wrap up. Beautifully browning over here on the side. So let's remind you real quickly of colors and then we'll wrap up. I've got purple. From purple, we're going to teal, then green, then graphite, and finally the red. Chef Jeremy Parker, thank you, sir. Thanks, David. Stay warm this weekend. Thanks, buddy. Yourself. You do the same. Be well. All right. That is going to wrap up a very, very exciting two-hour show. I want to thank Julia Carley for joining us tonight. Julia, how was the chat? It was good. Hopefully